And finally, to this conference, the issues that have been presented by all the speakers so far are the reality, and this reality is far from what the government puts on uh, newspapers and the media. The reality is what patients live every day, either at the pharmacies, at the hospitals, or at the pharmacies in their label. And this is not a pink uh, picture, it's a black picture. Because patients cannot find their medicines. There are no there are no medicines, neither at the hospitals, and the reason that uh, Mrs. Makridaki did not mention is that many hospitals do not want to buy pharmacies, expensive pharmacies, because they will raise their um, expenditure and then their balance sheet will come out of the limits set by the ministry. So uh, what the patients can do? The patients, unfortunately, till now have been uh, the silent majority. Patients have to come out and speak up. Speak up and say they don't find their medicines and not go to the social media and search Herceptin, Avastin, Tarsiva and much more on Facebook on, and on Twitter. Because this is the reality today. If you go to the, to the pages of the patient organizations, the cancer patient organizations and other serious diseases, you will see announcements about medicines that are missing. And patients uh, who have finished their therapy deliver the unused uh, packaging to other patients who use them. Do you know that uh, hospitals could do the very simple thing combine chemo patients together the same day so a bottle does not go unused into the sink and can be used by another patient. This is not done. Patients combine them, themselves and ask the uh, chemo departments at the hospitals to put them together so they can share the same bottle of medicine. I mean, this uh, these are practical things and what I would like to say and something that was not mentioned is that all governments during these last three years have done uh, only negotiations with interest, uh, interest groups, separate negotiations with the doctors, separate negotiations with the pharmacists, separate negotiations with the doctors, the hospitals, etc. And where is the patient, the patient is absent. The patient is talked in the third person. We don't want anymore to be talked in the third person. We are here and we want to be addressed and participate in all poly healthcare policy making committees. We want to participate in EOF like it is done in the EMA and we are proud that we have a Greek member in the board of EMA. This is a big distinction for this. We want to have more, more patients in all EU bodies and um, myself I can announce that I have been newly elected as a board member to the European Cancer Patient Coalition and uh, with my colleagues we have decided that we shall make medicines shortage in Europe one of our top priorities. Uh, so what, uh, let me see my, my present Yeah, I would say two things more. Wait. Could you finish up then? Yeah, what uh, patients uh, Want. Patients want zero for payment for all serious and rare diseases. Uh, availability of specialty and expensive medicines through all hospitals and specially designed pharmacies. At least one pharmacy in every prefecture or every big city. Low payment for complementary indispensable preparations for serious chronic and rare disease. Patient participation in a off medicines regulator, 
as it is in the EMA, and the link employment to, from social insurance coverage, because those who are unemployed and are going to remain unemployed because the crisis is going to last many, many years, should have access to um, health care as our Constitution provides for. The Constitution provides that uh, the state is responsible for, for health care to all citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kathy.